Buckle up, folks, because we are not going to have a new Knives episode until next year. And I got my frog fingers ready. Let's light it up. <laughs> All right, so uh, unlike last week, we've got a little bit more affordable ones on here. we got a wide range of prices let's here. Let's start with some that uh, people might want to buy right away with these Black Reserves. Which one's your favorite? Um, I've got to say, my favorite is the Lockback right there. This one? So, yes. Uh, that thing is really gorgeous. So, one thing that I want to draw your eye to is this is Smooth Black Bone. Smooth Black Bone is incredibly difficult to get right. And when we're talking about factories doing this, uh, the factory that did these for us, if they did let's just say a round number of like 2000 of these they threw away probably two or three hundred handles because they just weren't good enough and it's really difficult to dye black to dye bone black like that and actually get it it's to, shiny it's shiny enough to show my fingerprints right on um so they did a phenomenal job with these uh really gorgeous knife 440 on the blade steel. It is a lockback. It's very robust. A really good collector's piece right here. And that's the whole point behind the Black Reserve series is um, the robust construction. These are not your typical Rough Riders. They're coming with the Black Reserve box. Um, and I love the lockback design on that one. And I love the exaggerated clip point, the shortened exaggerated clip point there. So... That one's coming in at thirty four ninety nine, so a, a good price point on these as well. And let's show the other black bone. This is going to be a gun stock pattern, um, two blade gun stock right there. Another one that I really like. It's got the uh, spear point blade and the pin blade in there. Uh, brass liners, uh, nickel silver on the pins and bolt. Uh, nickel silver on the pins. Excuse me. Um, and then the you got the brushed uh, bolsters there, which look really good and really nice and refined. Just a really good-looking knife. Very solid. I mean, it feels substantial in the hand. And it comes with the nice display box as well. Those are going to be some ones that uh, really I think like people that. are really going to like. <laughs> you, have you seen those videos of like the world's darkest shade of black yes that's that's kind of what that this is very because it's even hard to pick up in the camera that's why it's having such a hard time like this is when I, you see me wiping it down it, it's literally almost like a reflection yeah glass so they've definitely put some very good buffing efforts into yeah. this so yeah it's, it's really cool it almost it almost looks like i'm just holding a bolster <laughs> right so. so all of the bone handle ones are going to come with the red liners there that you see all of the black pocket wood with the, um, with the uh, I guess, uh, checkerboard pattern, the crosshatch yeah, pattern, those. those are going to come with the blue liners. Um, so, first off, uh, before we go any further, I want to say the lock back there is $34.99. The gun stock pattern, the two-blade gun stock, is coming in at $32.99. So, $34.99? Yep. <laughs> $32. Sorry, I just... <laughs> Thirty-two ninety-nine. Choking on my own spit here. That's a. That's a. That's a. You know, I feel like that's a. That is more of a slap in the face. I feel like that's a southern saying too. I don't think I've ever heard that anywhere else. But yeah, that's that was a thing for me. Choked on my own spit. Just choked on my own spit there. Shit. And I'm not even like dipping or anything. That's. <laughs> so uh, this is the small toothpick here um, with the black pocket wood and that cross hatch pattern. Really pretty. Again, nice, robust construction. It actually, with it being this small, because of its construction, it actually fits really nicely in the hand. Put it up in your face. So. Get it right up in there. You oh, can see the yeah. detail in that right there. Just a gorgeous, they gorgeous knife. up close for you. I do too. I do too. And half stops as well. You can see that there. Really nice snap. That one's coming in at $24.99. And then at twenty nine ninety nine, we've got a nice little doctor's knife. I like. I think that one might be my favorite. This one is pretty sweet right here. So you've got your standard 
drop point blade right there. And then this one also is going to have a traditional spatula with it that um, you're going to recognize from... From the presser? Yes, yeah. exactly. That's why we have Open to... Up. That's why we have to see... Uh, they want that one now. <laughs> that's why we have to see your medical license or we just we just can't give these out to anybody. So, so $24.99 on the small toothpick and $29.99 on the certified doctor's knife. Them boys um, joking too much. Right. Talk about them knives. Get somebody else on that screen. Not taking it too, not taking it seriously enough. Let's also talk about this new little Rough Rider vibe. Are you vibing? I'm vibing. Are you? And is it vibing? I love this. I love this. You show it to him. You show it to him. This thing's coming in at seventeen ninety nine, and it's a it's a really cool little knife. A really useful little EDC knife. Um, got a good blade shape to be a work knife. We're talking G10 on the handles. We've got red and black. 440 on the blade steel. Got a pocket clip. So really cool little knife and really good action as well. Really good walk and talk. Half stops on those. Now listen to this. Hang on. You don't expect it with... No. It's... And also with that fuller there, it makes it really easy to open and close. Next up is going to be the After Hours Jack. Now, we wanted to talk about these because these are the first flippers that Jack Wolf has come out with since Blade Show in Atlanta earlier this year. And I really like this thing. That's the toxic tree frog right there. So this one goes along with my fingers. <laughs> and um, so... I have no idea what you're talking We're talking... <laughs> Isaac's been giving me a hard time. He was like, I figured out... <laughs> why you can like reverse flick literally everything out there and it's because you don't have fingernails and I just I just flub that one um, because I'm using the pad of my finger and that's all I have is the pad and so he told me that I reminded him of a tree frog being able to latch on to anything. Now everybody's going to attack me for attacking you and it's just going to be a whole circle of life thing and Thanks. That's the point. Thanks. Now I'm, now I'm the bad guy. So you should hear what he says about me. Let's, the oh, okay. Yeah. Let's let's try to, to welcome to Isaac Spin Zone. I'm called palsy all the time. Well, you shouldn't shake as much. Um, <laughs> so this one right here is going to be the green Kieranite, the green and black Kieranite right there. Got the black coated blade. Um, it's going to be a DLC coating on that one. And DLC coating also on the titanium here. It is a frame lock. You can see it right there. Also, the cool thing too is that each one of these is actually going to come with a frame filler for the pocket clip. So if you don't want the pocket clip on there, you can take that off and it's going to come with a filler tab that's going to go in there. What would you do? <clears throat> I'd go with the pocket clip. I would. With these being a flipper, absolutely. I'm just going to tell you, and on front a flip table... It, this is my favorite knife. The the green one, mm -hmm. specifically? Specifically. So we're talking S90V on the blade steel. Nice sheep's foot style blade. Oh, I, I flubbed it again. I did. Flubbed. I'm going to have to put up the definition. There we go. Um, so there's several different colors in this. We've got the green Cure Knight. We've got the all black titanium DLC Showing off right that. here. Um, oh, you want me to do it? I, oh, I, I was doing the pinky. Oh, pinky. Come on, tree frog. There we go. <laughs> pinky. <laughs> and we've also got the Hold jig on, I feel like titanium. I'm on that one from being shown. Sorry, I was I was wanting my moment of stardom. Yeah, you did. Sorry. So that one, that one is, um, <clears throat> that's all one solid piece, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what. Well. No, yeah. no. Well, that that part. But yeah. yes, yes. But versus Each side. versus here, you got separate. Right. So that's actually pretty cool. Same here on this one, one solid piece on each side of jig titanium, and this one I really like because they've done the accent with the backspacer in blue, along with the um, pocket clip as well. And again, same thing with the pocket filler. That's going to be a blue. Um, pocket clip filler tab. S90V on the blade steel. I think I Did mentioned you say that. that with a question mark? Yes. <laughs> uh, That's how our and then captions the, at the bottom are going to be on YouTube. S90V? 
Who typed a question mark on the teleprompter? For the last time, anything you put on that prompter, Burgundy will read. <laughs> Um, also got a couple of fat carbon offerings, got the purple haze, which has been extremely popular with a lot of different knives over the last couple of years. And, um, th here actually I can show you, this is the filler tab that comes with it that is actually going to fill that space from the uh, pocket clip there. That's really neat that so, they do that. I don't know off the top of my head another company that does that. There's been a couple over the years, but not many. That, Nobody um, that makes it a standard. Right. Like that, so. Exactly. That's pretty cool. Tree frog struggling today. I am. I'm. I'm. I'm not struggling. Struggle bussing. Um, last is going to be the frost fat carbon for the after hours jack, and really well done on this one. Gorgeous knife. Uh, those are all coming in at three forty nine ninety nine, a little bit higher than their typical slip joint offerings, but that's because of the extra machining and stuff that goes into making well, I'd a say flipper so on something like this with those kind of tolerances and stuff. I mean, and everybody knows fat carbon is not cheap. Look at that. That was that's nice. nice. I think blue's my second favorite. I think the purple's my favorite. Well, you, uh, it's not surprising you have quite a bit of. I like the purple. You got the purple oh. Riot, right? A purple people leader. Yes. Well, I think you actually have every color now that I think about it. No, I've got three of them <laughs> total. I've got the copper, I've got the purple, and I've got the toxic storm. Um, moving right along, we and I don't know if we'll have any of these left in stock by the time this airs. We're just showing it to but, flex. Um, <laughs> we've got some uh, TRM Neutron twos. Back in stock. We are actually going to be showing you guys. That one comes in hot. Yeah, it does. Um, so keep that one at an angle. There the we, uh, we are actually going to be doing some of these like in um, our custom shop, doing some custom anodizing on these. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be really cool as well. So we've we've done some of those in the past and really excited about that. But we're also going to have some natural ones like this that are just going to be done, um, just sold as is. Themselves. That is a very cool thing. If you buy, if you do get the chance to get this, you're, you've got something very few people have. Yeah. So, uh, I'll say that I, I'm very interested in one myself, but I just, I just want to hear what you guys think about it. Yeah. That one might would be the, like, I know we always pick our favorite, which one we want, but this would be the one I'd like, I could afford to go home with today. Right. And we've been, there's a really cool story behind this one. I'll let you tell it. You want to show it off there? Yeah. This one right here is really cool. You've seen the Mbombo, and we talked about this one at Blade Show West, and we went over it with them. It's a Dario Caston design, D-Rocket design, and it is a frame lock uh, inspired by Japanese katanas, and he actually designed the original design for the SpaceX program. And this is a really cool little knife. I like the kind of, I guess, I guess you could say chisel shape. It's not a chisel grind, but it's more of a chisel shape out front. So this front tip is sharpened, as well as this side here. Got a nice fuller down the middle of it. It's 12C27 on the blade steel right there. Uh, again, frame lock, um, 3.12 inches closed, really lightweight at 2.6 ounces, and coming in at uh, well under 100 bucks at $79.99. So a really cool little knife, really unique design, and uh, Kasten just continues to do really interesting stuff with it's, all the companies that he works with. It's different. Yeah. It's not the same cookie and cutter over and over. The thing that I will say that I know you like about it, it is it is a back flipper, but it's not obtrusive. It, it kind of fits in that little cut out there. No chicken wing. No chicken wing. No. <laughs> Next up, and this would be my pick for if I was doing the same thing. My budget, that kind of thing. This yeah. would be my pick. This is going to be a park design. This is the Calby. Calby from CRKT. We finally got this one in. You've seen us talk about this one. We talked about this one at Blade Show West. And this is from the Crossbone series and the same designer that designed the Crossbones. You can see the inspiration. It's uh, much the same there. We're talking aluminum on the handles, so really lightweight. And a Kudo 440 on the blade steel. Now, I know a lot of people are going to have questions about that. Um, a Kudo 440 is a Japanese uh, iteration of 440 where they actually increase the um, chromium content substantially 
to make it m even more uh, stain resistant and corrosion resistant than 440 already was. But they also added um, some more molybdenum and vanadium, which is actually going to make this also better in the edge retention category than 440. So it's a, it's a really upgraded 440 on this one substantially upgraded and uh, made in, uh, designed in Japan there. Uh, th not the knife, but the blade steel there. So this is a really cool knife and I cannot stress enough how smooth this thing is. And I love the clean lines of the blade actually being recessed in there and just how nice that flicks open there. I, I yeah, like this that one That color lot. reminds me of like deep blue of a swimming pool in the middle yeah. of summer. Making me really, want to go swimming. Yeah, and kind of dreading all this cold, dreary weather we've had. Yep. Like really, it, it either like snows really hard here, or for the most part, it stays like thirty-four degrees and rain. Wet. <laughs> so for our whole winter. And that one's coming in at eighty-eight ninety-five. And then last but certainly not least is going to be uh, this case vault pattern right here. Nice four-blade wow. congress, small congress. Ooh. Uh, and we're talking really beautiful abalone right here. And you know, I just, I cannot believe this. And it probably just speaks to our friendship, but I wanted you all to know that he got me this for Christmas. And I am just so... Yeah, you want to? I'm just so overwhelmed. And buddy, I love you, bud. I think Isaac, you. present buddies! <laughs> so yeah, he... Me and Greg both got one of these from TC, and it just shows how generous he really is. Generosity comes with age. What? <laughs> so, <laughs> don't anyways, let, don't let the people down. Back to this. Uh, got the case double X right here. Very understated. Very small on the bolster. Nickel silver on the bolster there. Nickel silver on the pins. And this thing is just gorgeous, just super well done. And you'll notice there's no brass on this one. It is all silver to kind of go along with that abalone and really well done. Again, this is the vault pattern, so it's going to be really collectible for this year. And That's it comes it so much to me. also in the velvet case. And that one's coming in at $299.99 which is way out of my pocketbook price range right now. Um, I just want to say you didn't have to do it. But well, he, we appreciate you. But he did it anyways. I hate you. <laughs> I don't understand. Do you see the condition <laughs> that I have to endure? Gosh, I love this thing. I know you do. How many seahorses did they have to kill to make this? <laughs> what? What in the face of Nemo were you talking about? <laughs> oh. Ooh, last knife, we're ready to go home. All right. Dude. This will be our last new knives until next year, so. We've got a lot of really cool content coming up for the rest of this year, though. Uh, doing some breakdowns. Some of the best sellers for the year 2023 as we send it off. And I am honestly not going to be upset to send off 2023. Um, I don't know about you, but. Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of it. <laughs> as always, folks, it's been me, TC, here with Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, along with Isaac and Greg. We thank you guys so much. We appreciate you. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and remember, if it cuts, what does it do? What we, we what use it our do? tree frog fingers to flick it up. And we carry it. Happy New Year! <clears throat>